Is this like distracted driving technically? Welcome to Stuck on the Gardener. We here again out in the six. We go through the week's events, drop some knowledge. I'm Chris. I'm Rob. So what's going on? Ikea pop-up shop. Surprisingly, the main focus, not Allen Keys and Cheap Furniture. Open from May 13th, going till the 26th, so you got lots of time. What they're running is food sampling and interactive learning sessions. Like the Ikea food. Like those fucking meatballs. You can expect everything from meatball carts, veggie balls, and a pick and mix candy. I think you could probably build some furniture while you're there. Don't time. forget your Allen Keys. Speaking of food, get excited from BlogDO, the latest buzzworthy product to fuel the craze of eating insects in Toronto comes from one hop kitchen in a bolognese sauce with, of course, mealworms. No. There's so much good food in Toronto, we so, don't need to do this. You're gonna pay a premium so you can eat crickets? I'll probably try it. Disgusting. Is that technically vegan friendly? Cruising right down the gardener. I'm relaxing, feeling good. Next thing that I know, say whoa, whoa, whoa. We're stuck in traffic. So I got in a fight this week with Craft Beer Passport is this really cool thing. From June 1st, right up until November, for 20 bucks, you can get an East End or a West End passport. It's basically your craft beer SPC card. So cool. you can go to one of the places listed, and they've got kind of a condensed menu kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but for craft beer, drop them two bucks, and you get one of these beers. No way! And you can get East End or West End, or for 30 bucks, you get both. So here was my beef with these people. I went on their website and watched all their stuff. They literally do an instructional video about using this passport. They say, go to the bar, pick your beer, drop your toonie. And they never say, tip your bartender. As someone who has bartended for a long time, that really cut me deep. So like the social justice warrior that I am, I took my beef to Twitter. Yo, craft beer passport bartenders like beer too, but you don't mention tipping. Now I'll never trust you, damn. Six, six, six. And that's when shit got real. No, actually, they just retweeted me. Oh, okay. That's, and then that's they sent me a message and said, we're gonna make sure to reiterate that in our next big announcement. They really took the high road there. So buy a craft beer passport. You're gonna save a dick ton of money. Blah, 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 blah. Yo, those cops, I think, are actually checking for um, people on their phones, eh? I swear he looked into our window. Texters, beware. If you're driving, don't text the gardener. They looking for you. I think everybody knows Bautista got soccer punched. Bautista slides into the plate. Odor not happy about it, just gives him one. Apparently, he was really upset about the bat flip. Odor ended up getting banned for eight games. Good. Because of this. And you threw the bat, I'm gonna punch you in the face. So like, grow the fuck up. Another exciting week in Toronto. Thank you for joining us, guys. Remember to check out stuckinthegardener.com for all the videos. If you need any more information about anything we talked about today, that's all gonna be there as well. We got you, fam. Enjoy your week. Did any of these fire hydrants earn more than you? <laughs> Generated over $3 million in parking ticket fines. Yeah, so, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Robert! <laughs> <laughs>